the second part of our paper mache donut. Um, just a reminder, we are making these um, based on the artwork of Wayne Tebow. Um, here's a picture of Wayne Tebow. He died this past Christmas. Um, he was 100 years old and he was uh, very well known for his paintings of desserts. So you can see some of his donuts here. Here's another painting of his donuts that look realistic. Um, and here's some photographs of actual donuts. Um, you can see different types of frosting, but take a look at the color of the dough as well. You can see if you're doing a chocolate donut, you're going to want that to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to show you how to mix the different paints to kind of get what you might want for your donut. And here's a picture of some paper mache donuts um, by students that are finished um, for my students over at Weiss Elementary. So first, what you want to do is paint the dough part. So you are going to have brown, black, and white to paint the dough. Um, I'm going to use two different donuts today because I'm not going to take time for the drying process. So probably a little bit hard to see the actual colors um, on this document camera. Lighting a little bit. This right here is my brown. I have some black and I have some white. If you are going to do a regular like glazed donut or a regular dough, um, what you're going to do is you're going to take the brown and mix that into the white. That's called making a tint. Whenever you take a color and you add white to it, so you mix it into the white, that's making a tint. If you want to have a really darker chocolate donut, you're going to want to make what's called a shade. Whenever you add black into a color, you're making the shade. So to make a tint, you would take some of the brown and mix it in with your white until you get the color dough that you want. So if you want a really light donut, kind of pinkish, you could add a little spot of black in here maybe. Um, you're gonna wanna paint the bottom of your donut. You wanna paint the inside. If you have a hole in yours, paint the inside, okay? Make sure you're painting fairly quickly and you are covering everything. So get a lot of paint on your brush at a time. If you continue to paint in one spot over and over and over and over, this will eventually reactivate um, the water-based plaster here and it can start to get sticky and some of it will pull off. So don't spend a ton of time in one spot, okay? You gotta keep moving. Once it's covered, it's done. Okay, so this is what you would do if you were doing um, the regular dough. Paint the inside, paint the bottom, and paint the sides all the way around. Okay, so inside, bottom, and sides. If you want a chocolate donut and you're going to be making what's called a shade, okay, get a clean brush or wash your brush out really good. You're going to take a little bit of the black, not a ton because the black is really strong and once you make it darker you can't undo it. Okay, so we start with a little bit first. You're going to mix that into the brown to make it darker. If you want to grab more, grab more. Just work in small amounts until you get the color that you want. So you can see already here in the middle, this is starting to get darker. So if you're making a chocolate donut, you're going to want to mix this together and really get this to be a darker brown. Um, and I'm going to just move on so we're not spending too much time with the mixing. I got it mixed really good right here in the middle. And you would do the same thing. Okay, paint the sides, the bottom, and the inside. Then once you have that part done, you're going to let this dry. Do not put the wet paint down on your, your newspaper because this will then dry under the newspaper and when you pull it off, it'll take the paint off. So you really need to make sure that you put the unpainted side down like this, and you're gonna have to let that dry for a while. <clears throat> Probably at least 20 minutes to a half hour. If you need to speed up the process, you can blow dry it with a hair dryer. Um, put it on the cool setting, and you can blow dry that to get it to dry a little bit faster. But you definitely wanna make sure it's really dry before you let this surface touch the, the paper, because it will pull off the paint. Once this is totally dry and you have this painted, the inside and the sides, like like 
this, okay? Once you have this all painted, then you're gonna flip it the other way so we can do the frosting on the top. Okay, so once I have that completely painted, I'm just gonna switch donuts here. I know this one's not painted on the bottom. Now you can paint the frosting on the top. So make sure your brush is really, really clean. If you are mixing colors, you're gonna wanna do that on a little separate piece of paper. I just use these as my paint palettes because we don't have enough plastic ones, but if you have a paint palette, you can do it on a paint palette at home. Um, if you wanted to make pink, for example, you would be making what's called a tint. So you take a little bit of the red and you mix it into the white. If you start with a lot, you're gonna have a darker pink. So if you want a really light pink, just start with small amounts and then keep working more in, okay? If you have the primary colors, you should be able to make any color that you want, okay? Then you're gonna paint the frosting on the top. Again, doing the same thing, get a lot of paint on your brush and don't spend a ton of time working in one area because you don't want it to start activating that plaster. Okay, you cannot paint the whole entire donut if you're planning to do sprinkles. Paint little sections. On mine, I had like some drips coming down like this on the side. So if you wanna paint it so like the frosting looks like it's dripping down on the side, you can do that. But paint in sections first. And while the paint is really wet, is when you're gonna put the sprinkles on. Okay, so these should stick to the acrylic paint. Remember the paint you're using is not washable. It will not wash out of your clothes. It will not wash out of carpet. So you really wanna be careful that you're protecting your work surface um, wherever you're painting. Then you can keep working on another section. Okay, if you wanna make little drips. And then before that paint dries, well, it's still really nice and wet, you wanna put the sprinkles on, okay? Then the last thing that you want to add before you are your done done, if you want to add this, you don't have to, this is just an option. You can add some puffy paint on top. I suggest that you just take your puffy paint, kind of shake it a little bit and give it a little try. Give it a try on Have a different one to show you. Give it a try on the little scrap paper first before you just start going on the donut because sometimes it squirts out and splatters out. Okay, then you can do this to add any decorative frosting you wanna add on the top, okay? And you gotta let that dry. The puffy paint does take um, about 24 hours to dry, at least overnight, I would say. Um, so then you are gonna let the entire thing dry. And your finished donut and send me a picture. I would love to see how it came out. I'm making your donuts.